Hello! Hello, hello, and welcome to this final boss fight live stream of Dungeons and Dragons. My name is John. I am the DM for this campaign. I've been doing intros all afternoon. Uh, and we are here to play some D&D. &D. My name is John still, and I am joined by... Angel. Yo. Jeff. I've decided that my name should now be Bob for this session. I'm joined by Bob. Hello. I'm joined by Tani. Hey. I'm joined by Kiri. Hello, everyone. And Sean is also here. Hello. Uh, we are eagerly awaiting the arrival of Michael, who is running a little bit late from work. Um, we're here to play some D&D. &D. And when we last played D&D, &D, here's what happened. Uh, the group, led by Luna, made their way through a maze of caverns. Luna was pulled along the path with, with a certainty of knowing where she needed to go. They found a massive door with a warning on the outside of it saying to stay out. So, of course, ignored it. Uh, heading inside, they fought fearsome monsters that rebounded their spells. Uh, they were reunited with Milo the Halfling. Oh, well. Yay. Uh, they descended... They, they, they dealt with a number of traps and puzzles and descended further into the tomb... Uh, finding their way down onto the second level where they were confronted with a large door with uh, a humanoid with fangs on it. They sacrificed some of their blood to said door. Uh, both Sage and Luna sacrificed some blood. And uh, as the door unlocked, a duplicate of both Luna and Sage... <laughs> appeared on a platform in the center of the room uh, and charged to fight you guys. And so, without further ado, we'll swap over to the battle map view. <laughs> yeah. And we'll get some battle music going. Bam music. Oh my. Ooh, is it rolly initiative time? It is rolly initiative time. Damn it, Luna, your initiative, initiative sucks. Hmm. Hey. Uh, my initiative. Oh. Is like... <laughs> your actual <laughs> initiative. Hello. Ooh. Nice. Should really roll. Oh. Dude. Oh, that's actually roll one. Let's actually roll one for the real sage. Instead of that false sage. <laughs> uh, both Luna and Sage, the actual ones, have rolled the same number. Wait, hold on. What about what fake sage? Uh, all the action happens. Uh, fake sage rolled slightly worse. Mm. So we're all going to get to go before they do. Well, hey. Okay. music are you playing maybe there it is let's turn it up a little bit that'll do and let's get this I hope Bob I never played or watched D&D &D, so he's hoping Bob wins or something <laughs> uh, borrowed Okay, I'm going to use I the uh, them suddenly appearing on a pedestal kind of uh, just was a little concerning. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I am, however, going to cast a very, very fun spell to hopefully lock this down. Um, I would like to cast uh, Hold Person, please, at the fifth level on both of them. <laughs> Using my final spell slot, my final fifth level spell slot, please. Okay. 
I will cast it and bear with me one stuff. moment. There you go. That is the last of my fifth level spells for the day. My DC is 18, if it helps any, John. It will do in a moment. Cool. As soon as I found out whether they are humanoid. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I figure out if they've got the spell that they don't have. <laughs> it's almost like we're shouting at Luna, do you have this spell? No, we can use this then. Uh, well, so You have this prepared today. <laughs> the fake sage... Saves. Saves. Mm. <laughs> The fake Luna, you see her muscles freeze up. Fantastic. Um, then I'm going to also uh, use the... Uh, where is it? Exactly. That's an interesting thing to try and use. Yeah, I'm going to use my Hexblade's Curse on uh, Luna. Fake Luna. <laughs> <laughs> fake I'm Luna. I'm glad they to specify this. Just Fake Just Lunar, so I don't... the real one, it's... Ah, no. <laughs> arcane, um, arcane sigils and nature uh, vines grow up her legs, intertwining around her, and just hold her in place. Fantastic. So now that she's locked down even two times, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to take a step back and Ooh. hopefully bait some things from Fake Sage. Oh, you're making yeah, me boy. question things. Yeah, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Come on. Do it. How dare you? Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got a long time to wait before he hits you, though. He does know what you have. Yes. Yes, he does. So <laughs> he's going to let you step away. Oh, fantastic. Because that means <laughs> that uh, <laughs> Geo's is going to step forward. <laughs> He knows what you have, so he's really surprised he's not been banished right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, banishing wouldn't solve it, and it seems more... And they aren't elementals, so... And also, well, you know uh, what they have. Yes, exactly. Which is, Sage. you know... I, I won't say that. It's, <laughs> it's not a good time for saves. Um, anyway, uh, Geo is then going to step forward and hit them twice. Because it is all fun and games until Geo gets there. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> does anybody... Thank you, Sean. That's exactly what I was going to ask. Uh, so who is he hitting? Uh, well, he's got two attacks. So I think both of them are just going to go on to fake Lunar. Just because each of them would then be a critical hit. And dealing with the, the person that can cast, uh, like three Cone of Colds in a turn would be beneficial, I think, for everyone. Uh, so, sorry, what does whole it as paralyzed? Paralyzed means a critical hit if I hit. Yep, it does indeed. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the crit hit is from within five feet. Yes. So and you have advantage. Oh, even, even better. Uh, so that will be... I'm going to not troll one d twenty. I'm going to roll one d twenty, or troll the dice. Roll the dice. For the first hit, ah, doubt. I doubt that'll hit <laughs> Lunar the first time. Uh, that will, uh, just miss. Just miss. Wow, really? That's. I thought Lunar had a higher armor class. Not according to my numbers. That yeah, one will hit. That, one. That, that, will. that that does hit, yes. That does hit. Fantastic. Um, then it's going to be that amount. Very cool. That will uh, be so this many dice. 48 plus... Doing a crit, uh, plus 5. Very nice. Oh, I'm dumb. That's just the dice. I didn't <laughs> do that. Nice roll. Yeah. <laughs> 30 points of damage. Okay. So Geo just sort of walks forward and slams a fist down and just glances off of Luna and slams the other fist straight into the fake Luna who robbles back and forth, unable to move. Mm -hmm. 
And we also get to see that I did actually correctly unlink the hit points so that damage done to fake Luna doesn't also apply to real Luna. Fantastic. That would have been, that would have been a really mean one. That would have been a, really mean, be a really mean <laughs> one. Right? Yeah. It would be a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Anyway, I believe, yeah. if I can go back up in the turn yeah, order and say that my turn done. is done. Steel. Um, so... I think I'm going to go 5, 10 up to Luna, fake Luna. Well, hey. And I am going to smack the ever-loving shit out of her with my maul. You are at advantage. I am at advantage. Do I want to rub any sort of funk on it? I've That's some... a good question. Can you do... I thought that was trademark for Torin. No, I, I, as, as a, as, as my particular form of artificer, I have funk to rub. Okay. Um, rub that one. As a local representative of Torin Enterprises, I have to... <laughs> <laughs> Where is this? I have an extra 2d6 damage, so fuck it, bonus action, I'm going to do, so it does that extra damage if it hits. Um, <laughs> Just two random damage. <laughs> it's, it's not that powerful, but it's something. I, think it does, I believe it does another thing on top of that. It does do something else on top of it. What does it do on top of it? Just make sure. Uh, you uh, roll the attack. I'll look it up. Um, it's, it's, if she becomes invisible, she's visible. She can't become invisible. Yeah. Um, either way, smacky poos. Smacky poo. Okay. Well, that hit. That and well. Those will both hit. They're both critical, so roll me the f top one twice. Uh, 19 plus 7... 26. 26. And... 26. It likes 26. 26. Two 26s. Okay, Luna, Luna is not looking <laughs> good, you guys. And then I shall do 5, 10 to move back. Um... Because I'm presuming I'm okay to move back. She can't really do a. She can't move. No reactions nope. or actions. Um, do I want? Do I want Ulator to move or anything? I think I'm going to. I think he's just going to stay there. He's just going to stay there. Okay. Uh, the real sage. Will the real sage please stand up? He is. He's already standing. God damn it. He's lost um, his blood, but it's fine. Thanks to your pork pie. Yes, you're welcome. Um, what is he gonna do? What's he gonna do when he comes for you? Well, you can either stab fake Luna, stab fake Sage, or stab the both of them. Yarn. He <laughs> draws his sword out and the crystals down the blade of the sword and he points it at the fake sage and a bolt of lightning shoots out the end of his sword and strikes into sage And the lightning strikes into Sage and pulls him towards the other Sage. <laughs> the 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 cut the incantation used for this spell is get over here. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, Luna. Yeah. Real Luna. Real Luna. It is your turn. The one and only fabulous Luna. Yeah, I know, right? Now, now there's a second one right here. Just right there. <laughs> <laughs> really not looking healthy right now. But it's not me. I'm the fabulous Luna. Well, actually, it's pretty, it's pretty like Luna. It looks the same. <laughs> the real Luna is sparkling. The other Luna is not sparkling. There's no unicorn sparkle on that. Sorry, you're really quiet. You're distant as well. Are you like away from your? Um, Can you life? hear me now? That's yeah. better. Okay, um, I'm gonna use ice knife on the not me. 
Uh, that will hit the not you. Cool. Because the not you has the same armor classes that you you. <laughs> oh, the. All right. Uh, how does how does Dio feel about getting a face full of ice shrapnel? We'll find out in a minute. Ah, oh, Geo's fine. He's a tough lad. Uh, so... Does he need to make a deck? The fake you takes nine points of piercing damage to begin with, and then automatically fails the dexterity save. Uh-huh. Uh, and so in a <laughs> explosion of ice shards, uh, could I get a deck save from Geo, please? I uh, you can. Uh, his deck saves are absolutely garbage, so let's see how this works. Mm -hmm. An 11. Uh, so it takes... Uh, Geo takes 23 points of cold damage. Oh, he's fine. Still above... Still above 100. <laughs> uh, the Luna on the platform just explodes. <laughs> In a in a shower of blood and arcane symbols. Oh, gross! Just Geo completely covered in gib. He's fine. He's okay. Essela. No. Well, I don't just really as that a side note, there's a very odd look on Lunar's face, but it's kind of hard to see what it might be. Okay, um, like... having seen everything that's transpired, um, I'm not going to waste too much in terms of magic, so I'm going to take out my Wand of Magic Missiles and cast, use up six charges, which I believe gets me a level six version of the spell. That so, sounds about right. Uh, which is... Yeah, a level higher for every year. That's one. Two... two. Three, four, four, five, six. Which is in total, that's eight, 18, 22, 26, 30 points of force damage against him. Okay. And. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. Okay. I'll do. That'll do. Uh, fake Sage If Sage survives until next turn <laughs> Draws his sword out I can't imagine the duplicates have like like evil Riker moustaches <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, both Luna and Sage have yeah, evil e evil so, goatees Evil goatees to prove that they and the, Even the evil Spock goatee, wouldn't it? Yes Yes, that's one exactly uh, let me double check some things. Cool. <laughs> cool insta death spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for some reason I've got power word kill. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Who know knew? Uh, you see, sort of the crystal structure form up around uh, the real sage's legs, much as when he casts his hex blades curse on someone else. Um, and then the fake sage, one hand holding the shield, one hand holding the sword, just goes to town with a, uh, Jeez. A, a, a natural 20 that I'm going to use a, um, oh, um, Torin. I'm going to, um, smite, rub the funk. Rub the funk. Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it is the Michael. Hello. Oh, the Michael. Michael, I just critted you with you. You just critted <laughs> you, me with me? Yes. yes. Oh, no. <laughs> you just critted yourself. Stop critting yourself. Stop critting yourself. <laughs> uh, so that's 16 points from there. And then we're going to... What's the highest I can divine smite at? Third level. Fifth level. Uh, third, third level. Third level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot of damage. So that is 19 doubled. 38. 38 
points of damage. Thank you very much, Michael. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and then we're going to use your inspiring smite ability. Uh, you're going to do everything. 2d8 plus 10. Uh, so, oh, it's bad rolls. Bad rolls, but he heals himself 15. So you see some of the wounds sealing up with crystal power. Oh, no. Um, and then he's gonna... He is using your abilities. He is you. He is me! And I am oh, you! Crap. Hold on, I'll be right back. He's then gonna stab you again. And I can't, I can't see anything, because I've got no dark vision. No, there's there's dancing lights everywhere. Uh, I'm black anyway. Well, then move your token up and down. There we go. Ah. And, and then move it back. Was that, yeah. Was that there? Yeah. Uh, no, no, you're, you're down, one. down one. Down one. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so he hit you with a sword again. Oh, no. Uh, so that's 12 more points of damage. And he's going to Divine Smite at a lower level this time, so we're only going to go for a level 2 Divine Smite. Which is 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage. Uh, oh, you done, oh, you done it. I was going to do it. I've, I've done it to you there now. And you are now from full. You're now down to 64 hit points. Damn it. Um, I believe... Yeah, he's not going to do that again yet. That's cool. Yep. Uh, that's that's his turn. Milo. Um, I did not prepare myself probably for this. <laughs> Nor did I. <laughs> uh, if only that the bad sage and the bad loon was here because I would have done a lightning bolt. But can I still do a lightning bolt? I mean, you can still do a lightning bolt. Because I'm in yeah. that kind of thing, but it's not hitting Lunar or the Good Sage. Yeah. And will I try and lightning bolt it? Okay. I'm going to cast it at level 5, so I can just give him a lot of damage to, just to get, get him the fuck out. Uh, he's going to try. Come on, be low. He rolled an 11. Ha! Fuck you, bad sage. So that is 47 points of damage. Yep. That 15 you healed sage was good enough. Fake sage was good enough for you. Yeah, he's... Um, he whips round and he is not happy with that lightning bolt. I just put the little finger up. <laughs> I don't think quite anything reaction-wise. Hang on, what's this? No, that's an action. I don't think I've got anything for bonus action at the moment. The only thing I'll have to use would be um, a reaction on sh shield. Yeah, as a shield, just in case it does come at my ass. Well, that's a reaction when it happens, so. Yep. I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> handed to me. Borrowed. Ah, uh, hello. Yes. Hello. It is, it is indeed my turn. Uh, how, is, how is Fake Sage looking? About half hit points. He's starting to bleed. The, the the lightning bolt really did a lot of damage that he's not happy about. Okay. Um, I'm suddenly really glad that I kept this really cool invocation that I have that allows me to just, you know, teleport on over there and hit him. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to use Relentless Hex uh, and go over there and hit him. Cool. So I'm just going to go... Whoop. Hello. Uh, you are. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I've just got a plus. What is it? Twelve to hit. Great. Uh, um, twenty-four, I believe, hits Sage. Fake Sage. Uh, twenty-four will indeed hit Sage. Fantastic. Uh. Then, oh, let's let's see. Uh, it's oh yes. Uh, so 
Uh, con save and two d six, an extra two d six lightning damage. Okay. Uh, con save. He rolled a six. He's stunned. That was pants. <laughs> Uh, Sage's, Sage's con save, that was a bad roll. Yeah, I was, ex I was honestly expecting something better. Yeah, it's plus, it's plus four. It's a plus four. Yeah, he yeah. rolled a two. Yeah, a lot. Fucking hell. Uh, so, so no he takes 21 points of damage. So no auto crit, just had advantage against him. No, you no just have advantage. advantage. However, now the second one... Well, that one's an after 20, so it crits anyway. Yeah. Um, and then that's two uh, D eight plus forty six plus seven. Twenty six points of damage. Okay. And steel. Just quickly rummaging through spells to make sure there's nothing else I can do that would it be useful here other than just smacking the shit out of him I think just smacking the shit out of him should do 5, 10, 15 uh, advantage yep. for the flank Kong and Spunage uh, 27 19 that broke uh, both hit both hit, fuck <laughs> 19 is close Okay, so 18 and 19, so 20... No. Uh, 37. 37. <laughs> you smack into this fake sage twice, and the second blow just spreads the blood yeah, I, splat. I, I, I just kind of overhead swing down like, a, like I'm hitting a whack-a-mole. <laughs> <laughs> and it sage... Just, <laughs> you are met with a very weird sensation of just having watched your own head be smacked into your own chest right in front of you. Mm. That must that, have been I an that, experience. Don't do that to me. My friend. Just looked up at him. Don't give me a reason to. Um, I, mean, I just, I just <laughs> nod my head in respect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because he died, I heal. I need that yes. heal. <laughs> Yay! Health! <laughs> Fantastic! That should be on a t-shirt. <laughs> Yay! Health! Yeah. Add it, add it to the list, John. I'll add it to the list. Yay. Uh, uh, it's on the list. I need to actually do something with the list at some point. There's a lot of quotes. <laughs> I think on the top one is, wait, you're married? <laughs> uh, that's the second one. Mind witness? Uh, that's mind, the first one. Mind witness? Yeah. Um, I'm at a beautiful 69 health. That was an amusing diversion for a few minutes. Two rounds. So in terms of actual time, they appeared, and then 10 seconds later, they went away again. Yep. In the shower of blood and gore, they just like got rained on straight away. <laughs> An interesting source of magic there, making blood clones. Hmm. But I don't feel different. No, you feel fine. I mean, you feel very injured from the sudden assault from yourself. Yeah, and now I know how it feels to be struck down by a pundit. Mm hmm. I do pack pretty good punch. You do. You regret feeling. back <laughs> So, is this is this door open then? Have we passed a test? Uh, that door is indeed open. Ah. Yay. Strength check, or can we just open? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, anonymous stairs. On the stairs that lead down. Oh that? boy! Um, Where do these stairs go if they go up? They go down. They go down. They go down. Down. Oh no! She's just gonna start walking. She's still got a strange look on her face. Yeah. Maybe we should have the. You know, uh, it's fine. 
Let's just go. Let's sort it out. Let's go. I was going to suggest maybe we should have the giant Earth elemental go first, but you know, it's it's okay. Lunar's determined. I trust her. <laughs> Let us do what she wants, I can. Okay, one minute. Let me grab these two. And the villager-shaped glowy things are following us. Where did uh, where, where did Geo just go? Yep. He's Geo's right here. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. Don't move me. How dare you move me? There you are. Move it around. Move it in line like a go. Okay, stop moving him and the villager for just a minute because I need to grab those. And I'm going to head down to the next level. Where are you now? Yes. He has that power. Mm -hmm. I do, I'm the GM. Mm. Very impressive power. Ow. I uh, just... That one. Ooh. And that Ooh. one. And then... And not that one. And this one. Not that one. And that one. You guys descend the staircase and find yourself in a small room uh, with a puddle of water at one end and a door at the other. Um, on the wall opposite you are a familiar set of runes. Again, written in Draconic, reads... Let eternal lie that which cannot die allow him to be ever bound and chained the mutated, merged, and malevolent. So, I have a question. Why are we going down here? If we're going to allow him to be forever bound and chained, why are we going down there? I can't see why I am. Leave. Oh. Go to the left, Tanny. The oh, map. No, I, so it was just also, you time. weren't on the map. Because I forgot to put you here, because I did this map before you came back. Ah, that explains a lot. What's this thing on the? Uh, what's this thing on the floor? Looks like a puddle of something. It's a puddle of water. Okay. So we just come down from here, correct? Yes. We go, le we go left. Uh, okay. Let's make a move. I mean, this you know, this does raise a good question of why are we? down here to begin with if we just want to make sure that like he just Remind. remains bound <laughs> you bring up a good the point the answers are down here simple as that Lunar's gonna yeah. kick the door no 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 you, you, you've, already, you've already been through this you're, you're not affected by that spell anymore no but that doesn't mean she doesn't remember you kick the door open you see a corridor that disappears off in two directions into darkness alright so she's Send her orb off this way. Oh, I'm literally and then just send like. Send an orb off like, like, this way. I'm going to bring up the rear for a change. John, just like in the previous one where we felt like um, a source of heat, like it was getting hot up. Can we, can we feel anything here? No. Nothing at all. This icon's changed again. Just nothing. It's just quiet. It's just here. Oh, and also. He's gone now, guys. I'll let Geo bring up the rear if you guys want to get in with the rest of the group. That's what I get for setting up maps in advance, really, is what it comes down to. I'm going to go left. I'll take the opposite route. Don't you know you never split the party? Just stairs. Uh, sorry, just, uh, sorry, door. A door. A door. Just a door. I just look at Bard and say, where do you want to go? Uh, with you. Go <laughs> hands with you. Okay. Okay. Really? really? <laughs> um, you literally saying it, though. I mean, we should probably stick with Lunar because the two sorcerers are going that way and they are very squishy. Yeah. Sorcerers to the left and me, paladins to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. That is an accurate statement, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just going to get rid of your orbs for a second, Luna, to give you ones that actually generate light. No, that's fine. I, I, I lost... Um... 
I, I lost vo voice again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Only seems to happen on my phone, though. Weird. Yeah. I would like to open this door. Okay. Uh, if if Team South could hold on for a moment, I'll I'll have I'll have I'll have Geo go with Team North. Wow, thank you. <laughs> it's all the it's all the tanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I just took all the artil uh, like the the artillery pieces went south. Wow, just be like, oh, no, I'm a tank, and then he's just like puffing up his cheeks like he's like trying to be. <laughs> I'll just shut. I'll just shut down the corridor. And just it's an empty room, but it's big. It's a big empty room. It's big enough for an encounter. It, it feels big, a room. <laughs> Uh, oh, Sage. Oh, there's a few oh, random books of supplies lying around. No as supplies. you as you get into this room, Sage, as you sort of open the door, yes, there's sort of a wave of coldness. Oh, we need Luna in that one. <laughs> I see. It's not like it's not freezing. It's not even really uncomfortably cold, it's just there is a slightly noticeable drop in temperature. Colder than the corridor. Hmm. It means we're getting close to wherever we need to get to. Then, um, uh, Steel, would you mind if I make the first move? Do you think it's safe? Probably not. The big you empty might, room. You might not be able to feel it, but there's cold. <coughs> you might feel your wood bits uh, chatter <laughs> I don't know if you feel I, don't, I, th I think I think he does feel like temperature difference it just doesn't bother him as much as yeah uh, you still are affected by extremes of temperature but you're not uncomfortable about them necessarily the same way as humans what can you see in the other room guys shout down the corridor <laughs> we'll let you know Meanwhile, at the same time, <laughs> uh, who is opening this door? Because none of you have actually made it to the door yet. I think Luna is about to. Luna is? Yeah. I'm going to kick it open guys. again. Just hiking up my face. <laughs> I need to like kick it again. The door swings open quite easily. Uh, it wasn't locked. Um, on the north wall here and on the south wall here... Uh, you can see a series of five crypts. So there's three on this wall and two down here on this wall. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> take, how long will it take? Hmm. I was going to say I might as well take ten minutes and detect, use detect magic. So he's just going to sit here and just see. Okay. For a good amount of ten minutes. Would anybody else like to look at the place while Milo casts, like, puts out candles and starts to cast a spell? Um, yes, what can we start with? Uh, so, sorry, you went very robot there, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, what, really? Oh, no, you'll go back to you, Min, again. Yep. Uh, so on this wall, there are three crypts. And on this wall, there are two sort of uh, similar. I say crypt, you know, the sort of um, where you might see in a church the small space where you put a body. Yes, a hole in a wall where you stick the body. They're usually full of bones and you find them in catacombs. It's not like, it's not an open one, it's a covered with a plaque on it. I don't know if there's a name for that. I think there probably is. Um, there probably is, and someone who knows temples and churches and things and architecture better than me might know it, but that's what you see. It's basically like along this wall, evenly spaced, are three uh, very obviously sized of those, and then down here there's two more. I believe, the, I believe it's called an ossuary. That sounds accurate. I will go with that. Hmm. Um, in that case, I would like to 
In that case, I'd like to go to the nearest ossuary and read the plaque on it. Uh, so that would be one of the two on this wall. It reads, do not read this plaque. <laughs> uh, so the first one you read reads Bane. Bane. Uh, Bane who scourged the North Real Peninsula. Bane who scourged the North Real Peninsula and broke Batman's back. Different Bane. Hmm. Who left trophies all over Gotham? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the first one, is it? Uh, that's the first one you come to, yes. Okay, I'd like to read the second one as well. Uh, so the second one has a space where the name should be written, but it's been scrubbed out by somebody with some sort of sharpened weapon. But underneath the the name there is a space for engraved pictures and you can see it is someone covering their eyes hmm. oh um john i don't have visual on uh geo doesn't have any vision i just realized so as soon as okay. it's out of borrowed's original initial line of sight sorry to bring that up intense role play moment boy vision doop Apparently that's something that doesn't copy with a token. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it is... Name has been erased. It is somebody covering their eyes. Okay. They don't seem particularly happy from the picture. Um, does the name Bane sound familiar to me at all? You don't recognise it. I haven't heard that name in the past month in context then. So. You haven't heard it in the past month. Uh, you can make me a history check. I will make you a history check. I'll do that then. History! I was going to say it's a very high DC. You know Bane's <laughs> blood type. <laughs> uh, the North Real Peninsula uh, is hasn't been used as a place name for about 500 years. It's a very old uh, place that was wiped out by... Um, somebody. By presumably this somebody. The, one who's <laughs> uh, the settlements there were burnt to a crisp and nobody has resettled it. God, what an asshole. Hmm. What an asshole. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so that's the two on the south wall. How's the ritual coming? Uh, at this point, it's about eight, seven, eight minutes out. Okay. The going to kick this door. Okay. Uh, while that happens, uh, is anybody in the north room going into the north room? Um, yes. Steel? Um, or should we, should we go down with them? Do I want to quickly... Do I have the tech magic prepared? And how far out does the tech magic go? Uh, 60 feet. It doesn't go through solid barriers, I believe. So I think I can probably... Yeah, I can get through. You can see the whole room. So I'm going to quickly do a whole little detect magic in the room. Not as a ritual? Just normal casting. Uh, there is an aura of magic around this door. That. Okay. <laughs> that door. <laughs> that door there. This door. So I... There's... And what... An aura of what magic, sorry? Uh, if you focus on it, it is... What's the type of magic? Uh, damn it. John, you tell us. Hey, you tell us. One moment. Does it do a boom? If it does a boom, it's 
Probably. We got a problem. It is enchantment. I point to that. In that case, I point to that door that, that's enchanted with enchantment magic. <laughs> I see. We best uh, not touch it then and wait for the other uh, others mm, to yes. group. Of course. And that's, that's the only magic I hear, I feel. In uh, other than anything that you're bringing in with you, yes. Yeah. So, cautiously steps in. <laughs> Doob. Doob, 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 doob. Come on, it, Rock. Come on, Golem. It <laughs> feels chillier. There's a sense of unease in the air. But other than that, you can't. And is, it, is the, are the walls kind of playing in this room, or are they... Yeah. Mm. Simple, undecorated... And we've got a door down south and door over there, and that door that's enchanted. Yes. <laughs> with, with enchanting enchant. It, it's, um, it's enchanted with enchantment magics. Ah. So. Heard about this before. Are we going through that one or that one? Uh, I think we should go through this one. Then through that one we shall go. <laughs> I hear voices through this door. You do hear voices through that door. You recognize the voices hey, through that door. If you, if you go to that door, Phil, full of dead bodies. I'll, go, I'll go to this door then, and uh, I'm going to just kick it down. Kick it. I can it. I don't know if that hits you in the face. Yet. Nah, there's enough of a gap. Yeah. That's all right then. Now, hello there. We found an enchanted door. This one over here. Gia's mm. going to slip through the wall. Up there. Geo spots a dead body in the wall. Nah. Geo just he'll, moved through the dead body in the wall. He'll he'll just move under it. Are there any inscriptions on the on the top? Oh, sure is. There are. I'm basically going to find out this is not the right word for it, but go on. <laughs> uh, not an ossuary. Ossuary is where you keep a lot of bones, but I don't know if that's like individual ossuary. I, but we'll go with it. <laughs> we'll go with it for now because we don't know better. Yeah. Although I am Googling it right now. <laughs> I mean it, it makes sense from the dictionary description on Google uh, so the first one reads Yerda Evercoin who paid her debt with stars hmm. Hmm. I must remember that how does one pay one's debt with stars <coughs> the second one reads Saltus who returned a hollow one And the okay. third one reads, Cathatel the Courageous disappeared beneath the waves. Huh. So I run those by me again. You'd, uh... Okay, let me copy these into chat for you. Uh, so you've got Yerda Evercoin, who paid her debt with stars. name sounds out of character that name sounds familiar but I can't place it uh, Saltus who returned a hollow one and the final one reads Cathatel the Courageous who disappeared beneath the waves even though I haven't written who in that sentence uh Borrowed, could you roll me a perception check with uh, Earth Elemental stats, please? Uh, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perception, you say? Yep. Uh, or wisdom, if they don't have a perception skill. Yeah, but it's just a, it's just a flat d20 from Geo. 
Roll seven. Seven. Uh, as you pass, as he passes through the wall and into the room with you, um, he ducks underneath a skeleton in the wall. Bless you, Bella. I take it that these skeletons look exactly like the ones that we saw before. Celestial. Can't tell at the moment. He just saw enough of it to be like, whoop, no, can't move through that. <laughs> As in a skeleton that wasn't part of the ossuary? No, as in one that was in the ossuary. As in one that was. That's all right. <laughs> he's, he's moved through the space where the ossuary is. In a, in a room full of bones, what kind of dick do you have to be to be buried in a separate part of the wall? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a interesting one to be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's you. Who always ate the last piece of pizza. Fuck you, Jim. And this Fuck is what happens Jim. to Jim. That's what uh, happens to Jim. Milo. Your ritual cast <laughs> finishes. I think he actually falls asleep. In this room that you're in you don't detect any magic other than anything that you're carrying with you. But you do detect something magic. These doors... <laughs> these doors at the south of the room aren't um, total cover. Um, and you detect something <laughs> magic being on the far side of this door. I will mention that. Hmm. Uh, two pings pop up. Ping, ping. Ping, ping ding a ling. On these doors? Ping, ping, ding a ling. On the other side. Oh, up here. No, no, on the other side of these doors. Oh, on the other side of these doors, right. Over, so over, like, yeah, okay. The doors themselves aren't magic, but they aren't enough to shield from uh, magical detection. Right. So they aren't like a thin line of lead or like a foot thick. No. Right. Um, I'm Instead of... Everyone's been kicking open doors today. I would like to open this door, please. You open... No. Gently. No. You you open it in such a way that the door can be closed again afterwards. So we're kicking down the door, defeating the monster, and taking the treasure. <laughs> I'm gonna keep Geo with me or near me anyway, uh, and I'm going to open up this door. Uh, this door as well. Ah, uh, so dim light dances in the air in this room, shimmering through the colours of the rainbow, gently lighting the walls of this room. And in a glass cabinet at this end of the room is a staff. Ooh. Oh, against my better judgment, or borrowed judgment, he's going to go on over the case. Uh, <laughs> can I get... Yeah, I was. I. I. Yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> from from uh, borrowed Luna, Geo, and Essela. Uh, oh dear. Can I get wisdom saving throws? Oh. Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. Wisdom. Oh wow! I know. Oh, <laughs> wow. I have a question before I roll this. Okay. Is this a charm effect? And I need uh, to an answer. This is a charm effect, yes. I get advantage then. That's fine. 19. Nine. Uh, and can I get one for Geo, please? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I should Roll just. One. Eight. Okay. Borrowed and. Essela, you both sort of look into this room 
And you've managed to flick away something trying to get into your mind. Um, I'm going to bring up the turn tracker. Uh Uh-oh. It could just be me, but I get the feeling that Lunar is really susceptible to mind control. A little bit. Do I have to roll one? Um, I'm not getting that feeling. I I don't think I've heard Milo. Not yet. Uh, should have said you um, do I have to send my friend away? Uh, Luna and Geo, you both have a desire to come and stand over here. Okay. Uh, could I get from everybody a uh, roll initiative, please? Uh, hello. Okay. Oh. Oh. Love you, Paul. oh no! Oh my God, the oh. twenty! Finally, yeah, twenty. Oh. Oh, I'll, I'll roll. I'm I'm scared for my buddy. <laughs> we both roll fifteens. Um. Okay. Before that starts, however. Uh, Luna, Borrowed, and Geo, you all take 11 points of necrotic damage as the light just saps something away from you. Oh, ooh, that's... I I don't like that. That's... mm, That's not okay. And then... uh, Milo. Uh... You see Borrowed, Geo, and Luna have gone into this room. Luna and Borrow, uh, Luna and Geo sort of walked in there looking at the light, sort of along the lines of, Oh, so pretty. Uh, and then you hear them all suffer this blast of damage. What do you do? What kind of magic was it again? I just know, I just... Uh, that was an enchantment magic that you sensed that way. Mm, okay. uh, from the other ping of magic, you sensed something you've not sensed before. Dun, dun, dun. It's a it's a school of magic you don't recognize. Huh. New school of magic. Could it be? Oh. What do you do, Milo? I'm going to go a little bit forward. I'm okay. I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. I'll go in. Could you make me a wisdom saving throw, please? Yep. I am looking forward to see how this goes. 19? You get inside and you see this rainbow light display that's sort of where Luna and Bo- uh, Luna and Geo are both sort of standing inside this uh, cornucopia of lights. And you can feel it starting to work its way into your brain and then you shrug it off. Oh, uh, I can't do this counter spell, can I? Uh, it's not a spell effect. It's not a spell effect, it seems, yeah, so it's an enchantment of sorts. If you've got to spell magic, ready. Don't have that, no. Then no, that. you can't. You cannot do nothing. Cannot do nothing. I'm just looking over to see what um yeah. I was looking at. Borrowed is looking at a crisp uh, a, a glass cabinet with a staff in it. And you can see now that that is what is registering this unknown school of magic. I clicked the wrong thing on mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I can do a dash because I got nothing at the moment. Um, I've so five. Yeah, I could probably like five, ten. I could probably get there anyway. So I just go straight here and just look at what's going on. Okay. There is a staff. And it's it's a long curved, uh, carved piece of wood, 
with three or four uh, metallic, um, like, uh, arms, fingers at the top of it, holding a grey swirling crystal in place. I just look at Bard and saying, this looks like a necromancy kind of staff. A little, maybe, yeah. You know from your detect magic this isn't necromancy. But it's, it's got not the aesthetics, necromancy, though. he says to Bard. It looks necromancy, <laughs> but it's not necromancy. Huh. Uh, Steel, you don't presently know anything is wrong. <laughs> Would you like to keep doing anything up there? Uh, I'm going to listen at this door that I'm at. Okay. Uh, roll me a perception. Perception. Make sure I'm not on advantage or anything. Perception. Uh, you can hear distant noises. There's nothing immediately on the other side of this door, but you can hear something moving quite a way beyond it. 